Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and you're watching one of my India travel videos and today I'm taking you to the Agra Fort or the Red Fort which is located on the bank of the Yamuna River in Agra, India and this is to be the residence of the Mughal empires in the 17th century. I'll give you some highlights and we'll describe some of the features and locations of the fort as I go along. For example, uh, the bluish uh, color you're looking at right now on the wall, those are actually not paintings, uh, they are real stones and they were imported from Afghanistan at that time. But except that bluish uh, color, uh, the other uh, parts of this wall is a painting or a red sandstone, but the blue ones are actual stones. The Agra Fort is a massive red sandstone fort which stretches 2.5 kilometers in circumference and had more than 500 buildings inside and lots of underground chambers. It's like a city within the boundaries of a fort. Today only 30 buildings survive inside the fort. There are several lush gardens throughout the fort and in this section which is in Jahangir's palace you'll find a large black stone bowl which is to be used as a bathtub by the emperors and they used to take a bath uh, in this black sand, uh, black stone bowl. Some of the sections inside the fort, they were hollow inside the wall, so that let the you know voice travel from one place to another place and that's how I believe uh, they communicate and this is kind of ancient technology where uh, they used to like, you know, hear or talk uh, from other parts of the fort. The section you're looking at uh, used to be uh, the library for uh, the fourth emperor Jahangir. And if you look on the wall, those actually, uh, those like you know, uh, shelf like uh, places in the walls actually used as a bookshelf right there. And there used to be books, and the whole place is to be a library. And then there were like you know, paintings on the roof and on the wall as well. Uh, Red Fort has four gates, and one of them. Uh, leads to the river and 40,000 workers worked eight years to build this fort. Although you can't see them anymore, the whole uh, palace was covered by uh, handmade carpets, uh, Persian carpets and handcrafted art work on the wall. And to match the art of the wall, uh, they also uh, put uh, the same design on the roof of the same room. So for example, if, you're looking at, if you look at the roof right now or the ceiling right now, uh, the same design carpet uh, covered the whole uh, section of this place and this happened throughout the palace but here you can just see one example how it uh, worked out okay. Agra fort is situated by uh, Yamuna river and uh, in those times the water level in the river was very high it, you can actually see the Taj Mahal from here if you look uh, closely that's the Taj Mahal so due to the high water level to protect the fort uh, from the water and everything they had some sort of water system uh, built uh, close to the river uh, which you can see a little bit here and that just protected uh, the river from the high water and here I'm just trying to zoom the Taj Mahal it's a wonderful view from a far from a distance throughout the history the Red Fort or Agra Fort was uh, occupied by several uh, different uh, Maharaja kings and empires so the section you're looking at actually uh, represents the original brick uh, made section and this is to be from uh, one of the uh, Hindu Maharaja King Padal uh, Singh and uh, then later on uh, as several other uh, Mughal emperors uh, uh, took position of the fort, uh, control of the fort then they added more extensions and they changed the designing 
and they added marble work and red sandstone. So this is one of the original designs which still exists today and that's how uh, a majority of the fort used to be in the past times before all the added uh, renovations and uh, extensions were added by the Mughal Empire. So this part is made of brick. Different emperor built different parts of the palace and it's named after them. So this is the red part which is built which was built by uh, Jahangir and called Jahangir Palace and the white part which was built by Shah Jahan and it's called Shah Jahan Palace. This section is known as Summer Palace. Uh, during the summer, uh, the royals used to uh, live here or stay here because uh, the walls are actually hollow. Uh, so there is some sort of uh, water flow in between which made the whole place cooler and then it was uh, not that hot uh, inside here. Uh, you have to uh, think that uh, you have to know that there's no electricity at the time so you know there's no fan there's no air conditioning there's no nothing so that's how the empires used to uh, made uh, air conditioning in this uh, palace using uh, ancient technology by flowing the water between the walls Good. can you talk again Yes, can I can you hear me? Okay, and where you're let me just see where you are standing. Okay. That's amazing. Here you're looking at a cross ventilation uh, ventilation system which uh, lets uh, the air uh, flow. So that made the space cooler. So if you look uh, on the top right now, you see the hollow uh, ventilation, and that's how, without electricity those days, they used to keep the place cooler. section of palace is uh, the Shah Jahan's palace because this is the white section and then uh, Shah Jahan uh, had uh, two daughters and you're gonna be looking at uh, the one of the bedrooms used by one of the daughters which is right uh, there so right those buildings are part of the bedrooms used by Shah Jahan's daughter Here you're looking at several uh, bedrooms and uh, place together, uh, and this is uh, this is to be a garden in the past. So uh, the Mughal empires they used to drink uh, wine uh, at this location. Uh, they loved wine, and the wine uh, wine was prepared uh, kind of uh, you know, homemade, uh, and they used to drink uh, wine uh, here in this section. So this is known as the place where uh, the empires uh, drank wine. This whole section is actually one of the master bedrooms. So you're looking at uh, this place, which is uh, a bedroom. And there used to be lots of decorations and even the gold-plated decorations in the past. But now you can just uh, you know, see some of the ruins. And uh, this is a huge bedroom. This is another bedroom uh, used by another daughter. So this is they're just kind of close, but uh, you know they're separated. Uh, so the first bedroom I showed you used by one daughter, and the second bedroom 
Okay. Used by another daughter, and then there are like in other bedrooms, and then we already saw the huge uh, master bedroom. The octagonal section of this okay. palace is where uh, the emperor who built Taj Mahal, Shah Jahan, uh, was arrested by his son and he spent his last few years here uh, with his favorite daughter and uh, it was his wish that he would like to, uh, the Taj Mahal is visible from uh, this section so it was his last wish, wish that uh, uh, he wanted to spend the la rest of his life looking at the Taj Mahal, so basically he died here and he lived his uh, few, last few years with his daughter looking at the Taj Mahal. So this is a prison, kind of prison, but it's actually not really a prison. This is a section of the palace from which you can see uh, the Taj Mahal across the Yamuna River. This section is called the glass palace. So there's like you know pool, or, there's like a you know, pool or tub inside it, uh, and then there's a dressing room, and then on the wall there are lots of tiny mirrors, and those mirrors are very uh, high quality mirrors, and which uh, had to be imported from Syria at that time. So the whole place is covered by lots of tiny mirrors, and this section is not now open to the tourists, but you can see it from outside. You cannot go inside. The whole fort has lots of uh, lush gardens and you're just looking at one of them and there's going to be a place where the emperors used to give visitations to the kings and the guests so you're looking at just uh, one section uh, so this is this is another garden right here and then uh, you're looking at the section where the emperors used to show up to meet uh, other kings or uh, guests so this section right there where the emperors met uh, you know uh, kings and gave visitations to people so this is uh, one of the sections that used for uh, used by the emperors to meet and greet uh, people and uh, kings This is one of the gates called Elephant Gate and here uh, the people used to throw flowers at the emperors and they used to pass uh, by, uh, pass through these gates. So that's all for this video. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be more travel videos coming up from India. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.